we're used to seeing these films in very badly duplicated versions, almost invariably shown at the wrong speeds, so we have a condescending idea of uh, these films just look silly, look ridiculous, but when you actually can see them the way they were made to be seen, they are startlingly good. It really could have been shot two days ago in terms of the, the crispness, the quality, and the stability of that image. It really is quite, quite striking. Don't watch silent movies the same way you watch a sound movie. Silent movies require a different level of attention, I think a different level of involvement. They solicit your imagination and your participation in a way that a sound film doesn't. Something that only lasted about 30 years in the real world but continues to be with us uh, in a very strong, strong way. Now, unfortunately, the great majority of silent films have been lost forever. They just were not preserved at the time they were made. They were not seen as products that needed to survive beyond their commercial lives. And by some estimates, about 90% of the silent cinema has been lost. On a cold December day in Paris, France, two young men changed the course of moving pictures. At Le Grand Café in the center of Paris, the Lumiere brothers created the first movie theater. They had not only led the way by enhancing the camera of the time, but they had successfully developed a method to project a moving picture onto a large screen. The dawn of cinema had begun, and the Lumiere brothers were leading the way for the legacy yet to come.